Yeah. All right. We're going with our Record Store Day Rundown for Culture Shock 2024. The hugest list ever. We're gonna quickly run through every item we have and how many we have, and that's about it. That's all the time we're gonna to have to squeeze in because it's such a massive list this year. So the main details are Saturday at Culture Shock, 2239 Charles Street will be open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. All of the Record Store Day releases, you can line up, get one of each title, but as many releases as you'd like. And I'm gonna start with CDs, three inch records, seven inch, 10 inch, and then do all the LPs, A to Z, and soundtracks last. So uh, check the video, we'll do it alphabetical order. I'm gonna start right here with the CDs, the Eric Carr, the Kiss piece. We have four of those, De La Soul Live, one of those. The Doors Live, we have uh, six of those. That's The Car and the Doors will also be on vinyl. So will the Public Enemy, we got one of the CD. If you need more of the details on these, go to recordstoreday.com or we'll post the link to the Culture Shock Shop site too. 100 Gex, we're putting this with 10 inch records. The Snake Eyes, we got four of those. Die cut, picture disc, great 420 release. Supergrass, 10 inch. You two, one, two, three, four of those, live. And the Kate Bush 10 inch picture disc, we have two of those. Uh, for three inch records, oh yes, that's right, all the Beatles, so. All four of the Beatles releases, we got four of each of those three inch records. If you buy the record player, it comes with the records inside. So I'll bring one of these down. There's also the record player set, a little three inch record player with poster, carrying case, and all four records inside. Poster and booklet too. The Spider-Man record player has the Metro Boomin and Nas records inside. Not much for packaging though, but there's a little sticker so you know what you're looking for there. Moving right into seven inch records now. We've got one of the Black Crows, two Body Snatchers, one Sabrina Carpenter. These are all alphabetical by name. Two of the Eric Church, two Dirty Heads, one Dury, two Noel Gallagher's Flying Birds, seven of the GBI, that's the Dave Grohl project with the Anthrax dudes. We've got two of the Holly Humberstone with Muna. A lot of these are color vinyl and there's a lot of hype on each of them. We have four of the Lil Peep, seven inch. Uh, the Moss, we have one of that. One Kate Nash, hopefully you can see all these. Yep, one Pharaoh you. Sanders. Two of the Queen Cool Cat, 45. A lot of requests for this one, the Olivia Rodrigo Noah Khan 7 inch. We have 21 of those. Right behind that, we have the Chapel Roan. Three of those. One Bobby Rush, Blind Boys Alabama. Two Slater Kinney on red vinyl. Uh, let's see here. One Frank Turner, one Laney Wilson, and one of the loud packs from Wiz Khalifa, seven inch box set. After all the three inch, seven inch CDs, we move right into the LPs. These are all alphabetized. At the end is where you'll find compilations and soundtracks. A lot of great stuff here. I'm just gonna quickly capture them. Three of the Acetone. Three of the Acid King. One of each of the Cannonball Adderley pieces. A lot of great jazz releases this year. A lot of cool picture discs. There's the Air picture disc. A lot of these we only have like pretty much one to 30 copies of. Some of these are a little more limited. Two of the Alan Parsons Project. Only one of the Lily Allen. Great 420 release, Ted Nugent's early psychedelic band, the Amboy Dukes. Comes with rolling papers. We got two of those. One of the America. Was there only one of these? I thought there was two. One Amorphous. One Horace Andy. Living it up with Sly and Robbie. Two, two Apocalyptica. Nine of the Ashniko. Really great foil cover. Try not to discuss them though. We gotta roll through them. This is on Gold Nugget Vinyl, Asking Alexandria. We have seven of those. At the drive-in, long overdue reissue of In Casino Out on color vinyl. We have seven of those. 
at the gates, slaughter of the soul. Only one of those. There was only, I think, 700 of them or something. A thousand of those. The ATs. We have five of those. And that's it for the A's. Chet Baker, the Lost Album. We have two of those. Can I take a step with you? Yeah, come on along with me. So two of the Chet Baker, two of the Band X, one Barclay James Harvest. I'm gonna try to pull these out real quick. Bear Jr., one. Bebop Deluxe, colored vinyl, one. BB Rex, uh, four of those. Travis Biggs, rare funk piece. We have three of those. Black Girl, we have one of those. The Blur, Park Life, it's a Zotro picture disc. We have two of those. Blessed Union of Souls, we have four of those. Here's another Zotro picture disc. Or no, a picture disc Zotro on the B side. That's the Mark Bolin and T-Rex record. Boogie Down Productions 1. A lot of cool old school hip hop coming out. The Bottle Rockets. We only have two of those. David Bowie, Waiting in the Sky. This is like the his original recordings of the Ziggy Stardust album. And there's four tracks that aren't on the Stardust album. So we have 14 of those. 16 of those. Billy Brad, one. You see these in both cameras, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Songs to No One of Jeff Buckley, one release from that. One, Buena Vista Social Club. I'm going to roll through these guys again. There's over 350 releases. This is David Byrne doing some Paramore, and Paramore doing some David Byrne. Paramore is the, uh, what are they? The mascots, uh, the ambassadors of Record Store Day. So we actually have ambassador pins with Paramore on it and a Paramore release this year. Captain Beefheart, two of that. That's the Spotlight Kid. This is a really cool packaging and very affordable price. This is the Air Car one, color vinyl. His eyes light up. This is like a box set. You can charge it up, push his eyes and they light up. So we have 14 of those. Casual, we have, we've got so much. We've got overstock under here. Casual for itself, we have three of those. Chase Atlantic, we have two. One Alex Chilton. One each of the Gene Clark release. We have three of the Cold War Kids. Two of the Nat King Cole at the Blue Note in Chicago. Two of the Collective Soul. One of the Come record. One of the Steve Conte. Uh, one John Craigie. B. This one we have 18 copies of. This is the Cranberries, Bury the Hatchet, the full sessions and record. Double LP on color vinyl. I think that's almost the end of the seas, right? Okay, yeah, so Cuckoo. This is really cool. Yeah. This is going to be another one of those really limited picture discs. We have four of those. The Cure, the top, with its picture disc. We have six of those. The Dalai Lama has a record out. One of those. It's the actual Dalai Lama, yes. Daft Punk, we have five of that release one of the damage record dandy warhol's live we have four of those I'm trying to insert this one somewhere danny ocean we have two of those yep, two. de la soul dead alive okay de la soul live we have four of that release a lot of these are first time ever on vinyl too Dead. Dead by Sunrise. Linkin Park fans will want to grab that. That's a Chester project uh, while he was still with Linkin Park. There are 22 of those. Dead Milkman. Yeah, that's going to come last. So, Dead Milkman, Bucky Fellini. We have five of those. All right, now we've got the Dead or Alive. We've got one of those. 
This is where you go. All right, pause for one second. Sure. Thank you guys for joining in. Stay in because we still have all of that whole yes. row. Yes, going down all the through. way around the store here. We actually opened up our boutique to add for record store day. So the regular record store section is still full of vinyl and new releases. This is just our setup for record store day. We're not in the middle of going to A through Z's, finishing up D's. I have two of the Dean and Britta release for record store day. This is Saturday, April 20th. Culture Shock will be open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. First come, first serve. I'm looking a little crooked on the camera here. Olivia Dean, live at the Jazz Club. We have four of that release. Death Cab for Cutie, two of those. Def Leopard live. We have three of those. Most of these, I'm just gonna whip right through them. A lot of them are color vinyl or come with posters. Yeah, Devin the Dude, we have one. Manu Dubingo, I have two of those. Oops, never mind. One, one digits. The Dio, last in line, picture disc, we have three of those. Two of the Dirty Heads box set. One Dixie Drags, Doors Live 68 on vinyl. That is uh, five of those. One Carol Douglas, two Dr. John, the singles. And still finishing the D's off with the Dream Syndicate. We got one of those. Into the E's, we got one Ika Mouse. Uh, let's see, Electrofixation, I forgot who was in that band. Somebody who was with uh, Icon the Bunny Man, I think, right? That's a, another rare one that needed to be on vinyl. We got three of those. English, oh, sorry, uh, ELP, one picture disc. English Beat, two copies of What Happened. Enslaved, two copies. Dick, here's a great jazz release, the mono pressing of Everybody digs Bill Evans. We have 11 of those. Craft Records. One, Everything But The Girl. Three copies of Excel, Seeking Refuge. Into the Fs now. We've got Faces, the BBC Sessions. Two of those. Moving so fast, guys. Fast as I can. One, Farm Dogs. Fetty Wap, we have 25 copies of that release. Color vinyl, there's all there, more under stock. Fields of Nephilim, we have two copies of that. Filter, Best Things, double LP. We have seven of those. Fleet Foxes, live on the Boston Harbor. We have five of those. One flip turn. Get here early for it. Flying Burrito Brothers, we have one of those. Forbidden, some great West Coast thrash band. We have five of that release. You got a 1738A <laughs> yes. comment. Oh, good, yeah, they wanted that. We got six of the Fleetwood Mac, Rumors, Picture Disc. Yeah. Fox, uh, oh, Fox the Fox. Precious Little from Music on Vinyl. Obscure piece there. We got one of those. Foxy Brown. Got two of her. Bob Frank. Broke again. We have two of those. Love this band. Very garagey psych band. Frankie and the Witch Fingers. We have three of their live one. Another Kiss related piece. Ace Freely picture disc. His new album. Fun Boy 3. One of those. And then, to start off the G's, we got the G-Love. This is G-Love and Special Sauce, their 30th anniversary of their album. So we have four of those. There is nothing for Taylor Swift for RSD, guys. Her release is today. Her release is out today. We will have her records and variations of it, though, available during Record Store Day. Uh, and Taylor merch and stuff, but yeah, so you can pick that up Friday or come in Saturday for Record Store Day and pick it up too. But it's not on the release, and she didn't do a special Record Store Day release. So, but many of her affiliates have some records here. So, some rare psych. We got one from Gandalf. Two of the Garbage Lie to Me EP. Jerry Garcia band. Don't let me forget about all these Grateful Dead up here too. 
This is the Jerry Garcia Band smaller box set. We have five of those. Kenny Garrett, we have one. Lil George, we have two copies. And if you missed this in the video, leave us a comment. We will get back and let you know how many we have or share the link with you. One ghost note. You still showing up on there, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the 10 year anniversary of Pinata from Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib with new artwork, different color vinyl, all that good jazz. So let's see. This is a classic hip hop piece. We have seven of those. One of the global communication. One of the golden earring, the cut session. Gorilla is doing a deluxe version of Cracker Island with different artwork, different cover. There are six of those. The Grateful Dead, Nightfall of Diamonds. Uh, this is live in 1989. A four or five record set. It must be a five record set. Four record set. We have two, four, six, eight, ten of those. Groove White. Uh, Groove Armada, excuse me. We got one of those. And the Groovy Ghoulies, we got one of those. But we're still in the G's, aren't we? No. Nope. Yeah, we are. George Harrison actually has both of his records. We got two of each of these. So they did a picture disc of the George Harrison records. In a jacket, though. Two of the John Hartford. Two of the Christian Hirsch. Two of the him picture disc. Even though it's like a seven inch record, it's in a full sleeve. So you'll find that over here with the LPs. We have two different releases from the Hives. There's the Lex Hives and there's the Black and White album. So we have both of these and we have seven of Lex Hives, or no, sorry. Nine of those and seven of the Black and White album. Five of the Earl Hooker. Great funky blues piece. One, Hoover. Of course, the band, we have 12 copies of this one. Great, crazy band, love them. Holland Wolf, some other blues piece, two of those. And that's live in 64, live in Europe. Two of the Hue, fans of Mongolian throat metal. <laughs> Ian Hunter, <laughs> one. Um, <clears throat> Hun Huru, two. On, the, on George Harrison's record label. We have one of those. Iggy and the Stooges live. We have two of those. In this moment, is this their second album? I forgot. Star Cross Wasteland. It's an early one, yeah, from 2010. On color vinyl, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of those. Maybe 14, I think. 12. Wow. Infamous String Dusters, Silver Sky. That's what two are back there. We got two of those. Woo! We're trucking along for record store day. Um, this is uh, Karu and Now. We have one of those. We got Iron and Wine, two of those. Chris Isaac release. This is the end of the eyes, one of those. So we're going, guys. I'm in eyes. We're going to make it to Z and Soundtracks. Japanese House, one. Also on color vinyl is the Elton John Caribou with extras. Two of those. Jucifer's first album. If you love noisy grunge and metal and stuff like somewhere between Jesus Lizard and Hole, check out Jucifer. And L7. And L7, of course. Yeah, yeah. Great band, Jucifer. This is their first album. I think it's the first time ever on vinyl. Color vinyl. 1,500 copies. We were able to get eight of them. Moving into the Ks, this huge stack of records. This is Noah Khan. I know a lot of people looking for him again. This is his second album. Yeah, I Am I Was, this is on color vinyl. We have 25 of them in the K's here. I am Jorma Kakawin. We have one of his release, one of the Keen. Hopefully you can see these. I'm just whipping through them. We have 300 records to get through. Herman Kelly, one. Key Glock, we got three. A lot of cool hip hop this year, guys. Four of the key glock, sorry. Uh, Lola Kirk, we have one of her release. Old school hip hop. And this is Cool Keith. We have three of that one. Great artwork. Cool piece. 
Cool, Keith. Cool. Mark Knopfler has a new album out, but also has a record store day release. We have two of those. Ladytron, two releases of that, two copies. <laughs> two copies of Yusuf Latif. Night at the Symphony from, how do we say her name again? I forgot how to pronounce it. Luffy? Yeah, Luffy. yeah. I'm not going to try to say it, yeah. but it doesn't sound, it sounds a little different. Icelandic, I believe, too. Uh, I forgot how to say it. Lafe, but I'm just going to say it for now, but we have only three, huh? Three. The only three? Okay. Keep in mind the mind games from John Lennon, we have like two of the black and four of the glow in the dark. In the dark. So read the little sticker if you're trying to get one or the other, or maybe both. I mean, try to collect them all. Lettuce, five, one of those. Um, my Jenny Lewis, two of that picture disc. Such a great artist. So I right, think I covered everything in there. Yep. We're step. moving into the rest of the L's then. I'll let you adjust there. Yeah. This is on splatter color vinyl. This is the Lil Uzi Vert, Love is Rage. We have 17 of those. The Lil Wayne, sorry for the wait. We have eight of those, yes. <laughs> One Little Richard. One Lordy. And Los Hermanos Cosmica, the Cosmic yeah. Brothers. This cool release is of members of the Black Crows, actually. So be sure to find it over here in the L's. Could have easily put it over there. We have four of those. Mad Child, we got two releases. Malfunction. This is a really cool piece. An early piece with Andy Wood of Mother Love Bone fame. So we'll definitely be able to have uh, quite a few copies of those if you're here early. First time ever on vinyl, they only made 1,500 copies. So very cool grunge piece, even a little bit of... Uh, Kind of a GNR sound in a way too. So we have two, four, six, seven of those. Oh, nine. There's more over here. So uh, Jesse Malin, we have one. The Shelly Man, we have one. Uh, the Marley piece. This is uh, Stephen Raga Marley, the Revelation. We have two of the Stephen Marley. One Briston. Maroni. Looks like one of Christian McBride. I'll fire him. One Jack McDuff. So I cover my face then pretty much like this, you think? Uh, the Roger McGinn piece, this is cool. This is like uh, members of uh, some different bands doing Sweetheart of the Rodeo. Got a little, little birds action here. One of their greatest albums. That's the 50th anniversary. Uh, they did a live performance of that, and there are three copies of that. Tommy McLean, one. A rare, undiscovered gem there. This is <clears throat> Memphis Slim at the Blues Festival. Two copies of that. Meat, puppy, meat Puppies. The Meat Puppies live in Montana. Three of those. Uh, it's the mid, midway stretch here. I'm through the M's, you know. Got to stretch, stretch my tongue here. Make it through this list, guys. Mike Geronimo, we have two of those. Three of those, sorry, yeah. Uh, Mighty Lemon Drops, we have two of those. Military Gun, we have three of those. Charles Mingus, oh, that's right. I have the Black Breath box set coming in today, too. There's still a few things still coming in. So there will be a few quantity changes, and if we missed anything, we'll do a little update, too, on our social media. Charles Mingus. This is reincarnations. We have four of those. It's been a lot to set this up for one big day. Money bag, yo. Two of those. Money bag, yo. Uh, color vinyl, two. This is from Friday Music of the Monkeys, the Birds and the Bees. Three. This is a picture disc of Motley Crue. This is Supersonic and Demonic Relics. So it is different artwork, I believe, on the inside for the picture disc. Three of those. One Motorhead, No Remorse. Two of the Mr. Big, Lean In. Mud Honey box set. This covers their reprise years. We have three of those. Reprise years, some people will say, actually. 
MX to, MX to Moon. MX to Moon. One release of that. The Nazilmatic remixes. We have three of that. Two of the Willie Nelson Live at the Hollywood Bowl. And a reissue of a really rare early uh, phases and stages from Willie Nelson. So he has two releases this year. This one we have four of. Nico Live 86, one. Nightmares on Wax, one of those. The 1975, see, so look for the 1975 in the ends. That's how we do it here for 1975 Live. This is five releases of that. Move this down. You can keep that covered if you need to. North Mississippi All Stars. We have three of that release. All right, we're gonna step down with you. Sure, come on over. Notorious Big. This is the uh, instrumentals. This is the Ready to Die instrumentals, 12 inch. And we have eight of those. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, nine of those actually, nine. Um, <clears throat> the Octopus Project, we have one of those. Offspring Splinter Picture Disc. We have five of those. Uh, orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Yeah, there's nothing. We have two of those. That won't be a physical release, guys, Jared. The Orb, two of those. The other one, Tasty Fish, mm. one of those. Uh, Paper Kites, we have two of those. Now, be really careful on this. Paramore because there's two versions of it on color vinyl as well. They actually did the remixes of This Is Why. So if you already bought This Is Why, this is the only one you need probably, unless you want to get the package that has the remixes. Over here, they're also doing the Paramore This Is Why package that comes with This Is Why album plus the remixes. And they're on two different color vinyl. It's a gatefold, really cool packaging. They're the ambassadors this year. If you just want the remixes album, we have nine of those. If you need the package with both records, we have 18 of those. I'll try to remember, because I got overstocked down here too. So keep in mind, there are two versions of that. This is the uh, Norman Grand's Jazz of the Philharmonic. This is the Charlie Parker release. We have four of those. Parliament's first album, we have two of those. Fans of George Clinton or Parliament Funkadelic, great release. Oh, I wish I had my open copy over here. This is the new release from Pearl Jam, Dark Matter. They're doing a Record Store Day release version of it. There's no sticker telling you, but it's like green ghost vinyl. It has artwork, it's stickers with this artist. We have 20 of those, so that's all the Pearl Jam. Right here, Lee Scratch Perry, we got one of those. <sighs> Little Joe Pesci did an album, believe it or not, in the 60s. So, uh, Singing Joe, there you go. He sure can sing. Little Joe Pesci. I'm gonna love that one. Petey, got one of those. Ah, I love this band. Cool kind of stoner metal band, rock band. Pigs, 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 pigs. Four pigs there. That's live at KEXP. Two of those. Uh, the Doors of Perception from Dave Pike. Very cool, out there jazz piece. We have three of those. Continuing into the P's here. Pixies, really cool kind of artwork. That's live at Red Rocks, 2005. We have six of those. I'm gonna have to pull these out of here temporarily. PM Dawn, we got one of those. Can we bring it to you like that? Poppy, we have four of this release. Oh, this is cool. Prince Buster, uh, Jamaican reggae stuff. A lot of early 45s all compiled together on a double LP package. So pick that up, early reggae fans. This is something we got five of. Prince Farai, one. Two of the Public Enemy live. Revolution Tour, 03. Uh, Pucho and his Latin Soul Brothers, we have one of those. Queen Latifah, two of those. 
Excuse me, I have that. Rain Parade, we got one of those. Ramones, this is their original 1975 Sire demos. We have five of those. Oh, I love this one. Replacements, Live at the Metro, 1986, double LP. Two, four, six, eight, ten of those. What's over here? Paramore, that's the overstock of Paramore. Right, these are way too tiny. Residence, we got one. Richard, Cam, and Burt, one. Roaches, one. Rolling Stones, live in NYC. On white vinyl, two, four, six of those. A second Rolling Stones release. Uh, this is a Rolling Stones. It's a numbered limited edition. A lot of these are numbered. You can see on the back which number you're getting even. Hopefully you can see that. Come to the store and see. We have five of those. The Sonny Rollins box set. We have two of those. Royal Flush. We have two of those. Todd Rundgren has two different releases. We got two of the Liars and one of the Todd. It's the end of the R's, guys. We're getting there. We're making this quick for you. Um, scenic, this is the Acid Doswell experience. Two of those. Schooly D, just have one of those. Bill Scott Heron, Winter in America, we have two of those. Trying to keep you guys. Screaming Trees, we have two, four, six of that. That's their kind of early recordings from the 86 sessions. Seven Dust, heavier than seven. We have five of those. Duncan Sheik, hey, 90s stuff. Two of those, that's probably never been on vinyl. Here's another wild release. Polly Shore and the Krusties, we have six of those. Polly Shore fans, there you go. Nancy Sinatra, how does that grab you? We have two of those. We were just listening to some Susie and the Banshees. This is, has a poster with it as well. Half Speed Mastered, the 40th anniversary edition of Susie and the Banshees Nocturne. Probably can't even see it here in the shrink, but we have two, four, six of those. Sisters of Mercy, kind of both of their EPs. One package there, that is three of those. Slum Village, we have two. A snarky Puppy, we have two. Where's my little Snarky Puppy? She's sleeping. Shop dog. She's tired. She's been working hard this week. Soft Cell. Not Extended Cabaret. We have two. Oh, this is a great one. This is Hits Her for Squares from Sonic Youth. Gold print. It's on gold vinyl. This is a celebration of all of their work. And they've had different uh, friends and musicians pick out like their favorite hits. Double LP. Sonic Youth. We have two, four, six, eight of those. Let's not forget that the local favorite, Michelle Williams from Destiny Child, oh, also that's picked right. out Michelle Williams song. of Destiny Child fame, who is a Rockford resident, picked out one of the songs from Sonic Youth. So that's a really cool compilation and a lot... I think a lot more inspiring than regular greatest hits compilation. So there's a lot of thought and effort. I know we're whipping through this and I know record store day is a wild time, but there is a lot of thought and effort that goes into some of these releases. And it's cool that they work with independent record stores and you can celebrate and talk with other friends and fans of music and find out a lot. So it's a lot of fun guys. Um, Sparks, their number one in heaven album, special version of that one copy. Sponge, this was like a kind of a lost album from 99 that did get released. Very cool piece from them. Four of those. Spoon Fed Hybrid. We got one of those. This is a really cool Detroit psych band from the 60s. There's 1,500 copies. We were able to get two of them. The SRC. We actually put out some rare original pieces. We got an original one of those we're putting out this weekend, too. St. Vincent, All Born Screaming. We have three of those. Mavis Staples. We have one of those. We still seeing everything okay? Yep. In the Beatles category, we got a Ringo Starr piece here. Uh, Crooked Boy, we only got one of those. Stars, Five Ghosts, we have three of those. 
Joe Strummer in the Mescaleros. We have two of those. One of this Sun Ra with the pink elephants on parade. And two of the Sun Ra live in Chicago. Live showcase 60 or 76 77. Super furry animals. We have one. Tad. Another 90s piece. Two of that. More Talking Heads. David Byrne had a thing. We're also seeing the release of Talking Heads live at WCOZ in 77. We have two, four, six, seven of those. One of the Art Tatum treasures. You know, we were just talking about Ringo Starr. We saw George Harrison doing releases. Um, John, John Lennon. Lennon and the Beatles stuff. No Paul McCartney, but we got Corey Taylor doing his take on Band on the Run, the classic Paul McCartney album. So I feel like all the Beatles are represented thanks to uh, Slipknot's Corey Taylor coming in and putting out um, his release here. So uh, Corey, uh, Corey Taylor or not to be on Candy Floss Vinyl. We have six of those. And then moving on. Okay, so fans of... Of Deftones and Chino, of course, Team Sleep. This is one of my picks of the year for Record Store Day. Hopefully you can see it in there. But this is <clears throat> their 2005 album, very expensive and rare. They're putting this out finally, reissued on gold vinyl with a litho. So yeah, very happy to see that. We got some Mike Pad action on there too. Uh, is there more? One second, I gotta answer a question. Go ahead, yeah, what is it? Um, I just joined the live, but are you doing phone orders for Record Store Day? No, no, we're just 8 to 6 on Record Store Day, and then online we'll have our records up um, on our website at cultureshockshop.com Sunday morning. So, and we'll be even open 11 to 4 Sunday, also a bonus day. So, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna be busy here in person only on 8 to 6 on Record Store Day. But thanks for asking. And then Team Sleep, finishing that up, we got 18 copies. And the Television Live, we have two copies. We are getting there. 10,000 Maniacs. Again, we put the numbers in the T's. So two of that, that's a, a live one from them. Tesla, we got one of this release. Sister Rosetta Tharp. There's so many great genres of music here. Live, 66 in France. Two copies. Another one of my favorite classic bands, Thin Lizzy. This is live in 76. We have two of those. Oh, see, I wish I had another copy of this one over here. Tinted Windows. So the big news on this one is it's this is a Bunny Carlos project. So James E. Hop Smashing Pumpkins and uh, Taylor Hansen of Hansen Brothers put this project together and it's first time on vinyl. Very cool 90s sounding kind of power pop piece. It's on half black and half red vinyl. So we have 21 copies of that one. Cheap Trick fans will probably be all over that one too. The Tom Tom Club remixes, we got one of those. Congratulations. Tragically Hip at the CBGB, we got one of those. Trash Can Sinatras, probably hard to see on camera. We got one of those. Ernest Tubb, we have one of those. Sitting next to Lil Wayne and 2 Chains. We got this release. And I believe it's on color vinyl too. I don't know what color. It'll be a surprise when you open it. A lot of these don't have stickers. Hey, a lot of people will be surprised when they open it and find out there's a poster or color vinyl. So we got six of the 2 Chains. Is there more down there though? Did we have more of that one? I think we might have 10 of that one. So. But we have a lot. I'll check on it and get back to you. Ultra, um, Ultra Magnetic MCs, just one of that one. Ultra Vox Remix is one of this one. Unwritten Law, one of that. UB40, one of that. So that's the end of that. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, one of that. We're in the V's now. Voivod, one of this release. They've had other Record Store Day releases from them. So around in the corner here. Continuing into the doubles. Yes, Mal Waldron and Steve Lacey. Great jazz piece, one of those. Summer Walker, two of those. Can you see right here if I stand beside it? Yep, just stay where you are. Cool. Two Wall of Voodoo albums. This is the live one on color vinyl. 
uh, two of those. And then the Wall of Voodoo album, self-titled, we have three of those. After that is the Wallows. We have three of those. The Wardruna, one of those. Hold it higher, is it good there? You're good. The Weekend, live at SoFi Stadium. This must be a triple LP. It's a long concert. So we got two, four, five of those. The Who, the story of the Who. Three of those. And what's this box say? Oh, that's the Wilco. Yeah, yeah. Wilco, the whole love explained. Very dark and hard to see. They always work with great artists. Special packaging. We have four of those. Getting a little bit of a glare. So you want to bring it over here? Yeah, I'm just going to move a little bit closer to you. Sure. Ann Wilson, one of those. Steve Wilson, remixes. Two of those. Ooh, this is a cool Doom kind of stoner metal classic. Witchfinder General, we have three of those. That's an 82 release. Well, let's put that down. Little. Remy Wolf, we got three of that release. Bernie Worrell, again in the Parliament Funkadelic family there. We have two of those. Two of five live Yardbirds. We should have had five of them, but we tried. Yardbirds, Psycho Daisies, also two. Yes, live, Yell Bowl, 71. We have four of those. Dwight Yoakam box set. See that? We got two of those. Uh, Young Thug Jeffrey. This is the Young Thug release on color vinyl. We have 16 of those. And Neil Young, effing up. We got one, two, three, four of those. Frank Zappa uh, for president. We have four of those. And I think that's it. That's A to Z. Now I've got some soundtracks and comps to show off super quick. Uh, I'm just, it's not in line yet, but that's the top yeah, shelf. Stay where you are. Right there. Yep. Heated Garage. This is like uh, uh, <clears throat> Garage Psych Rarities of Minnesota. Two of those. Hillbillies in Hell, one of those. Good angle. Mm -hmm. uh, Loose Groove Records presents 11 artists, one of those. The Jazz Dispensary, People Rising, two of those. Lenny Kay and Friends, Live at the Cat's Cradle, two of those. Love LA, one of those. Uh, Los Nuggets, this is like a 60s kind of like a Mexican Spanish garage site compilation, one of those. Pale Shades of Grey, Heavy Psych Ballads, 69 to 76, cool compilation, two of those. The Penrose compilation, one of those, picture disc. Uh, the Lou Reed compilation in tribute to him, one of those. Rockabilly Heroes compilation with a lot of classic rockabilly tunes. On color vinyl, two of those. The Rough Guide to Hoodoo Blues, one of those. Uh, Soul Jazz put out a Rocksteady Ska dub jamaica compilation and they also put out studio one compilation of jamaican compilation there reggae comp um this is timeless jazz classics compilation it's a music on vinyl import there's the top shelf compilation this is westbound sound so some record store day people kind of picked some of their favorite uh songs off the westbound release off the label we got two of those Moving into soundtracks, then we're done. Airplane, we got one. Cheech and Chong, 420 classic there, Up in Smoke. We got three of those. Uh, Vince Giraldi, Charlie Brown, Short Summer. We have one of those. Even more Dazed and Confused, like additional stuff from Dazed and Confused. Two of those. One Doctor Who, Picture Disc. One Virus, and that's a Goblin piece from the band Goblin. I'll bring them back up here then when I'm doing them. Lost in Translation. This is like uh, the full double LP version. We have five of those. And Neil Morricone has three different, three different soundtracks. Classic film composer. So we have all three of them. Orca, that one, and that one. One of each, all three. Murder Was the Case. Snoop Dogg and others. All the Dog Pound. A lot of people on this one, DJ Quick. So that soundtrack, oh, it's die cut, cool. 
We have four of those. Murder was the case. Punisher, one. Rocky Horror Show. This is Richard O'Brien's 50th anniversary of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And it comes with a poster. We have two, four, six, seven, and ten more. We have 17 of those. South Park. Uh, Trey Parker, Primus, everybody on there, Ween. Really cool 25th anniversary edition of that. We have five of those. We ended off with three Spawn soundtracks. So that's our record store day. If you made it with me to the end, we love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. Uh, again, if you're coming to record store day at Culture Shock, Saturday, April 20th, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., all of these releases will be available. So much more new vinyl. We're doing a used record sale, a huge batch of new used records. Those are buy one, get one half price. Uh, if you didn't see your record covered or if we get an update on more coming in, we'll post it. You can post comments or ask questions. We try to get back to every single person. Uh, if you want to look for these records online, anything that's still available on Sunday will be at cultureshockshop.com. Go to the little shop now drop down menu. Look for Record Store Day 2024. We will have them all posted there. You can choose in-store pickup or shipping and we'll ship it to you. Uh, anything else we want to cover right now? Someone had a question on how many Team Sleep records we have. Team Sleep, we have 18 copies. So get that one. That's one of my picks for the year. Can you see her there? So very cool piece. There's some stuff that's extremely rare finally getting reissued. And there's some brand new stuff coming out for Record Store Day too. So a huge variety of all genres. You got any other questions to answer right now? Um, how many picks are they allowed to get? We're line? doing a no limit this year. You guys can come through the line, pick out as many picks as you want. You can just only buy one of each title though. That's the only restriction we're doing. We're gonna keep it limited, the amount of people coming in so it's easy to shop. We're treating this like a huge buffet so you could feast on vinyl, but it'll be easy, shoulder space so you can look through. We got extra staff helping. Huge thanks to Michelle and Katrina and Jared and little Bean for greeting everyone and helping out here, a little extra. Uh, I'll check for more questions later though, but uh, yeah. Thank you so much. How long was this? Too long? Uh, exactly 47 really? minutes and 11 Let's seconds. Let's stop that. Thanks guys.